In this video, I'll be teaching you how to predict whether a spontaneous redox reaction will occur. We have to look at a reduction table. Here's a short version of it. On the left side of the arrows are the oxidizing agents, and on the right side of the arrows are the reducing agents. Notice how all of these are written as hash reactions. It is arranged such that the higher you go on the left side, the stronger the oxidizing agents will be, and on the right side, the lower you go, the stronger the reducing agents will be. Well, to predict whether a spontaneous redox reaction will occur, we have to look at the oxidizing and reducing agents. After you find them, you compare the two and you see which one is higher. If the oxidizing agent is higher than the reducing agent, the arrow will look something like this, and the reaction will occur spontaneously. If the reducing agent is lower than the oxidizing agents, then the reaction will not occur spontaneously, and the arrow will look something like this. Let's look at two examples. Will chlorine gas oxidize with gold? On the reduction table, we first find chlorine gas, and we find it over here. Next, we find gold, and it's located over here. We compare the two, and we see that the oxidizing agent is located below the reducing agent. We can draw an arrow like that. Therefore, chlorine gas will not oxidize with gold. Next question. Can hydroiodic acid be safely kept in a lead container? Hydroiodic acid breaks up into hydrogen and iodine, so we look on the reduction table, we can find iodine over here and hydrogen over here. Next, we find lead, which is down here. Now we can draw arrows. Notice how lead and iodine are on the same side. This means that no reaction will occur. Now we look at hydrogen and iodide. The arrow points upwards, so no spontaneous reaction will occur. Lastly, we look at hydrogen and lead. The arrow points downwards, so a spontaneous reaction will occur, and therefore we cannot safely store hydroiodic acid in a lead container. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching.